<laughs> let's 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 talk about this report first. Uh, as many of you are aware, we are not allowed to make specific claims on YouTube. They'll remove the live stream. But we have this report from Allied Security Group, which got released earlier today. A judge ordered it be released. And it let me just read you one uh, one quote from section B uh, from section B subsection two saying we conclude that Dominion voting systems is intentionally and purposefully de designed with inherent errors to create systemic fraud and influence election results. The system intentionally generates an enormously high number of ballot errors. The electronic ballots are then transferred for adjudication. The intentional errors lead to bulk adjudication of ballots with no oversight, no transparency and no audit trail. This leads to voter or election fraud. Based on our study, we conclude that, that the Dominion voting system should not be used in Michigan. We further conclude the results of Antrim County should not have been certified. Now, let's talk about who this guy is. They say who we are. The first guy. My name is Russell James Ramsland Jr. And I'm a resident of Dallas County, Texas. I hold an MBA from Harvard University and a political science degree from Duke University. I've worked with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology among other organizations, and have run businesses all over the world, many which are highly technical in nature. I have served on technical government panels. So this has been one of the biggest stories of the day. Interestingly, if you Google search this and you try and look it up, you're not going to find the report. You're going to find a lot of articles saying unproven, baseless, Trump supporters, and things like that, which is very strange framing for a news organization, because even if you don't agree with this guy or you think he's a hack or you think he's just trying to help Trump, you'd simply say an independent audit, you know, uh, uh, as the result of a lawsuit from Republicans made these claims. That's just the news. If you want to argue this guy is biased or right or wrong, I mean, you can. But what's what's weird is that you go on Google, you try and find the story. They don't tell you what's in the report. They just say Trump supporters are pushing claims. Hmm. Yeah. I know you, Hunter, had some opinions about this guy, too. So yeah. do you want to yeah. express those opinions? <laughs> yeah, sure. Absolutely. In the marketplace of ideas, right? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't agree that we should just be like attacking someone's credentials. I don't think that that's um, necessarily an argument against the report. I do, however, think that this guy's credentials are important when we talk about the likelihood of bias in his report. So because he has been a Republican lawmaker, I think, or I know for a fact that he's donated a couple thousand dollars to uh, different GOP people or whatnot. Um, he was hired by the Trump admin, um, and it's very, uh, very very frequent for consultants to come to the conclusions that support the lawsuit. So I don't think that that necessarily means that this report should be completely ignored. But I do think that if anything, what we should take that we should look at this report with a grain of salt and take that uh, uh, maybe as an indication that we need a better, more thorough and more independent audit of these machines. I would 100 percent be in support of an independent audit of Dominion voting machines, because since I don't really think voter fraud is you know, a big issue, uh, I would be more than happy to see that audited. And hopefully the findings would, you know, that's the right answer. Yep. Yeah. Why has it been like pulling teeth that, you know, because it had to go to a judge to get this released. Why were why were the Democrats trying to block it from being released? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I know what I was what I read today was I, I don't remember who said what, but I know that one of them said we're not really trying to hide anything. You can go ahead and release the, the thing if you want to. Uh, I know that the report is it's it has a lot of misinformation or v at very least it has information that is quite similar to previous unfounded voter fraud claims that have already been kind of debunked. That's or interesting. Explained. Wouldn't this bunk them? What do you mean? So like if they said they were unfounded claims, isn't this founding them? Well, they no, actually because they actually analyzed 22 machines. Right, right, right. Well, no, because I do think that this is extremely susceptible to bias and even more so. I mean, if. Do you want to say yeah, something? No, yeah, I would question that because uh, a lot of other people like John Oliver, when it came to his show last week, tonight, almost last year, made very similar claims on his HBO show, warning us about Dominion, warning us about the accountability, warning us about the numbers, almost very similarly to the report that, that was just released by the Republicans. But this was an argument being made by, let's just say, the kind of leftist establishment institutions when it was against, you know, the, this larger idea of Russian collusion. So what do you think of like other proponents of the left saying this election was a fraud four years ago and now like John Oliver oddly kind of changing their mind well, and saying specifically John Oliver about a year ago produced a 20 minute segment 
and targeted like a bunch of these voting machines, including Dominion, hmm. for the susceptibility to fraud, how very how it was really, really easy. Mm -hmm. Now we have Republicans saying, wow, look at all this. And now it's the establishment left saying, no, no, that can't possibly be the case. I'm not too familiar with John Oliver. I don't even watch him. I don't really like him very much, to be honest. Um, I guess I would just want to know, like, if you think that the if they have a uh, um, an error rate of close to 70 percent, do you think we would have discovered that sooner than now? 68.05. So I think just just so to cite what you're saying, the tabulation log, this is from Section 8 uh, for the forensic for the for the forensic examination of the server in Antrim County for December 6, 2020, consists of 15,676 individual events of which 10,667 or 68.05 of the events were recorded errors. Mm -hmm. These errors resulted in overall tabulation errors or ballots being sent to adjudication. The high error rate proves the Dominion voting, uh, voting system is flawed and does not meet state or federal election laws. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we did find it. Texas rejected the machines. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, again, I'm not familiar with every individual you know, talk show host or Texas or, or stuff like that. But I do think that um, when, do you think that this is susceptible to bias? Do you think that guy sounds kind oh, of Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, it, as for, you know, whether he sounds like he's biased, I think one simple thing is true. Do you think he's lying under oath with his with his presentation? Was he under oath you know, when he made he, that report? He, he I, just said that, I believe this is a, this is a, a sworn statement pre, pre, uh, presented to a court. The he, judge had he just it. I could it be wrong. Proof. Be wrong. You just he read that thing where he calls it proof. Yeah, like, this evidence that I have is proof. So that that's a red flag. It is. I mean, yeah, one definitely. of one of his claims was that I don't know if he was under oath actually. One of his claims was that he um was that the it was a a system error rather than a human error. Yes, voting but, system. Right, but I know that one of the people, I think it was a GOP uh, Eisenhower, I don't remember his first name, um, he was the one that made the error. He was a Republican. He made the error. and In Antrim? Yeah, I believe so. And didn't he even say, like acknowledge that that he was the one that made that error? I can I can pull this up really quick from where I'm reading. Yeah, see if you can pull it up because I'm not super familiar. Uh, my thing is like, is this guy putting factually baseless statements about numbers and just like making up numbers and then giving them to a court, hmm. you know? Yeah. I, I don't think that I, I, I don't like that. There's no, I don't think there's a grand conspiracy. I think Trump certainly is, you know, spitting and yowling, but if there's a grand conspiracy, Bill Barr would have just launched investigations and done what Trump wanted. And if he's right. under oath, he would go to jail. I don't know if he was under oath. We don't know yet, right, but if right. he was, which, you know, most, most court proceedings, most evidence is under the, yeah, I can't the imagine. right of perjury. You know, you know, yeah, if he if he faked these numbers and gave them to a judge or present them to a court, mm -hmm. I can't imagine. Yeah. Now, I don't I don't think that he's just like lying. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't think this guy's just making up some BS report and then just like lying about it under oath or whether he's under oath or not. Regardless, I don't think he's lying about it. I think that he probably did do something one way or another to get that error rate as high as possible. Uh, now, this is only a theory of mine that I have, because, again, we're kind of still waiting for more info on this this subject as well. Um, but I know that in Antrim County, there were a lot of errors at first that were then later fixed. So my thought process was perhaps he was counting that error rate before the errors were fixed, which could be a possibility. Um, and if he was, that would mean that there's probably a ton of errors in other places that weren't caught and weren't fixed. I mean, maybe this is why I would be all for like an independent, nonpartisan yeah. investigation. I know that Dominion voting machines have been under rigorous tests before, both state level and national tests. And like, have been rejected because of it. They have been? In Texas. Texas rejected them after doing a test. When, they what, when was this? So I don't know the exact year, but when, when Dominion went to Texas and said, we want to use these voting machines, they did tests on them and said, whoa, no way, we can't use these. They're bad. I would I would just want to know how long ago that was. I mean, yeah, I, I know that in the beginning, at the beginning stages, I'm sure that they were much less unreliable, but they've been being used for a long time now. I think also that if we were if we were using voting machines that had such significant error rates, I kind of think we would have discovered that sooner. Um, and again, if his report was there's an error rate and that's concerning, that's one thing. But the fact that he's trying to claim that that's a system fault. It was, when it was uh, January of this year. Texas rejected the machines. Hmm. Yeah, after they did tests on them from the Texan. Texas rejected use of Dominion voting system software due to efficiency issues. Uh, right, right, right. It I, was I, rejected I, look, for efficiency problems, so not necessarily susceptibility to error. I think uh, that's you a know, pretty important, but that's a at, pretty important distinction, right? At the end of it, if we all agree we should have an audit, then we should have like an, another audit or something. Who should audit it? What we? I, that's the problem. No one's yeah. ever going to be satisfied. Well, I, I, I would be satisfied if it was a a actual like independent nonpartisan thing i just i i have a tough time and i think that 
people watching, and I'm sure, Tim, you can understand too, I do have a little bit of a hard time trusting that report when it comes from someone who is so obviously in favor of Donald Trump and the conclusion that... That's a really good point because I have the equal feeling about mainstream media organizations who 90% of their stories are negative about Trump or 90 plus. Mm -hmm. So why would I trust them when they come out and say the inverse? You Mm -hmm. see the problem? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think that the mainstream media is very, like, they don't like Trump, that's for sure. So what do we do? You know, it's, it's like weird that they were blocking this and then they eventually agreed to let it go like this Monday. But it's it's I think one of the biggest problems we're having right now is we don't really have time after an election to do any kind of legitimate hardcore DOJ style analysis, you know, or investigation. We've got what a month to certify all the results, do all the counting it takes forever. Right. And then once you do the election contests, the official like, OK, I'm challenging the results only happens after certification. So you, you, they, they, all these lawsuits pop up because they're gonna. Then they certify. Then you can start challenging the, the, you know, the votes and the elections and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. How do we even get to that point where we're going to investigate 150 million votes, probably tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of voting machines across the country? It's just it's impossible. Yeah. And the exploitation, you know, like like it's it's sec- securing a, a cyber infrastructure is a, is basically impossible. Mm-hmm. So as time goes on and our and our population grows and there's more votes, the easier it will be for someone to cheat. That's, and that's just a limitation of investigatory powers. Sure. I, I think that that's definitely true. And I think that the more people that vote, obviously, we're going to see with that an uptick in some voter fraud as well. Um, and I don't would never deny that voter fraud happens, of course. Like people, like when you have 300 million, plus, well, that's not how many people vote. But when you have hundreds of millions of people right. <laughs> voting, like, of course, you're going to have some fraud. But Can overall, you the, there's overall been a lot internet. of comprehensive Unplug studies collected on yeah. this. Just pull it out of the wall. Sorry, man. That's okay. I was saying how both of you guys made kind of good points here. There should be a bipartisan kind of approach towards this, but at the same time, we're in a time crunch. Uh, when it comes to big companies overseeing this election, there should be a lot more scrutiny, a lot more oversight. And uh, I mean, I'm with John Oliver. There's there's something that stinks with uh, Dominion. I think there's a lot of... No, no, no. He changed issues. his position. He, of course, changed his position yeah. now, but I agree with John Oliver a year ago when Donald Trump was in office. Now that Joe <laughs> Biden is in office, I disagree Joe with Joe Biden's John not in Oliver. office. Well, well, technically, he had a whole big Dude. coughing speech today. Yes, uh, which everyone, <laughs> which everyone is talking about on Twitter just right before the show went on, uh, highlighting how he was coughing his way through his. Uh, is that how they're going to do it? Speech. Is that how Kamala Harris becomes president? That's it. I don't know, but there's a lot of people from left-leaning Twitter accounts saying, "God, I hope he doesn't have the coronavirus." <laughs> from his latest speech, that's literally what I'm seeing right now. Maybe on that's maybe that's the next plan. Maybe uh, that, that well, we get, maybe that's the next big leftist plan is to infect Biden with COVID so that he dies and then they can boom get count. I mean, that's that's there. basically been the theory. That was the plan all <laughs> along, anyway. That's what I've heard, anyway. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And we are also available on all podcast platforms for free. If you want to listen to us there, thanks for hanging out and we will see you all next time.